This is going to be a very brief overview of the artificial lighting options. And we see a bunch of them here in this veg room and just identifying which ones that they are and what their main purpose is. So the types of lighting options are the best uses here uh, provided. So there's no in the picture here fluorescence, but T5s are high energy ef efficient and they're typically used for clones or seedlings. For HID, the high intensity output uh, lights, metal halide lights are typically used for veg, so the veg phase, even though they're not pictured here. CMHs or ceramic metal halides are propagation into veg. And this is one example here. Uh, this would be a CMH light. High pressure sodium is used for flowering and it kind of has that kind of yellowish tint to it. LEP or light emitting plasma is veg or used as flower supplementation. Also produces a very white um, almost slightly bluish uh, light here. And then LEDs can be uh, are light emitting diodes and this can be for the full grow cycle. This one's not necessarily a full spectrum, this is kind of that purple and pink light. Um, there are some that will produce a very clean white light and those are used for full spectrum. So just this gives you that quick little comparison of how these different um, lights look. Uh, some of the different colors that they can produce and how you can easily identify them one potentially by their structure or two by the color at least that we perceive that light to produce